Hello and welcome to Douglas Football Stand. It's seven points out of nine for Middlesbrough as we won a very narrow game. We got a narrow 1 0 win at home to Birmingham City side, who did seem to be a very good team. They attacked with a lot of venom. I think they were the better team in the second half. You know, from the word go, the first half we were very good. Our passing was excellent. We got the goal. Our, a lot of our chances were good. But the second half, we sat back. We left Birmingham fly, fly a lot of pressure onto us. We didn't seem to get very good passes. Our passing was pretty weak. We couldn't win the second ball. That's the only thing that we struggled with. We need to start winning the second ball. In Flint, very good. He's a very good player again. Um, I gave my man the match to Darren Randolph, actually. I gave my man the match to Darren Randolph. Because if we didn't have Darren Randolph in that ball, in that game, we would have lost probably 6 1. Because Birmingham City were attacking. I know people will say that they didn't do that much, but that's their opinion. This is my opinion. And Birmingham City were very good in attack. Obviously, Gary Monk, well, it wasn't the welcome I had hoped for him. I was hoping for a bit of a better welcome than everyone saying, beep off the beep Gary Monk. Or you know, F Gary Monk or stuff. It's stupid. Why can't both fans just be nice to a man that wants? Who cares if the results he got was wrong? All managers are going to have good results and bad results. There's nothing you can do. If Tony Pulis, you know, decided to leave because our results were bad, what would you do? You'd probably welcome him back anyway because he, uh, you know, he did well. He's done well the minute. So I don't know why people do it. It's stupid. Um, uh, a bit of some long goal. Well, a, sl a bit of a slice of good fortune there. Um, it wasn't the comprehensive victory that we wanted to screen up because Joe Will again for a third game this week has got the correct score prediction. I don't know how the hell he does it, but he predicted it was a one, then we can sit in nil. And if you want proof, yeah. Joe, one nil ball. How the hell did he do this? I I do not know. I think when he gets older, he might as well start betting on the very scores because he's winning quite a bit of money. But, um, I don't know, it's at all. Pure luck and stuff these days. Now, yeah, as I said, at the bit somewhere along the goal, he, it, he was in the box. He put it under his right foot, went to the side, took, I think it might have been a left footed curl shot, uh, took a slice of good fortune off one of the Birmingham defenders and just curled and dipped in. Um, I think it was going in anyway. It was a good, good goal anyway. Um, whether it did get a slice of good fortune or not, it was a good goal because it was well taken, well struck, and you know it was on time. It was, whoop, there you go, and in the back corner. And um, yeah, seven points out of nine. Are you mad? As the answer because there was one guy I watched for fun. Uh, it looks like seven points from the first three bloody games. Are you mad? Because apparently, um, both fans have been dissing Tony Pulis, saying it, all his negativity about the team and stuff. And certain, uh, everyone's saying that we're not going to get the moment with him because he's absolutely boring and stuff. I disagree. I think he's decent. Okay, when we do when we do attack and we pass it back all the time, that does get annoying. You know, it's, it's possession game. We want to play the possession game as well as get the goals. We're up against the Notts County team on Tuesday night who are one, who are under the management of Kevin Nolan now. We've done pretty poor against these low league teams. Um, but I think with the way we've started this season, we could probably win it. A good win for the Borough. Not the comprehensive one that we wanted to see, but 1-0 win was enough and that was the important thing. Bring on Knox County and bring on Bristol City next week. Could it be 10 points out of 12 next week at Bristol City? Let's find out.